uh, I'm Gun and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you my rose garden. We are in May and there's incredible explosion of the most beautiful roses. This rose is called Mermaid. Imagine that each rose is out for one day only. So, and it's full of buds, it's going to last for a week or two. But it's so gorgeous, I think. Let's go and we're going to show you the other ones, okay? This is my selection of antique English roses and I have them all in soft pastels. Uh, I'm not going to tell you all the names because it's too complicated, but they are gorgeous. I mean, just look at this. It's mm, so beautiful. And May, the month of May is really maybe my very favorite is this in apricot shade. Roses for me is like chocolate. I can't resist it. Every year I buy a new plant and then I don't really know where to plant it. But this year I decided to decorate the chicken run. Hopefully in a couple of years, chicken run is going to be covered with pink roses. I would love that. This one are the peony and very very nice let's go to the upper garden once in a while but they wow they come back to this height and i think it's more of like a wild it's not rugorosa, but it's more of a wild rose and they give beautiful um, rose hips in the winter. These are great. I cut them brutally and just chop off maybe for the dinner table or they don't last very long in house because it's too warm. Uh, but. I like to bring in fresh roses to the house. This is a rose which is called Profumatissima. And it is actually very, very scented. It's a strong scent. Mm, wow, the way a rose should smell. Profumatissima. In this area, I have the pink roses. Again, it's really bushy and enormous. I mix it with rosemary, which I think is a beautiful combination. So thank you for watching this. This is my rose garden right now in May. Uh, they're going to come back in September and look good again when it starts to get cold. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. And don't forget to, to push the subscribe button right there in that corner. Okay. Arrivederci!